Welcome to the Rothney Astrophysical Observatory. We are situated in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains in southern Alberta, and we are on the traditional lands of the Stoney Nakoda peoples and the Blackfoot Nation. And we are coming up very soon to uh, the summer solstice. We're going to be seeing the first moment of summer happening at 9.54 a.m. on Friday, June the 21st. That is also uh, marked as National Indigenous Peoples Day and we will be celebrating that at, on site at the observatory. One area that we like to talk about with students and we find very important, especially given where we are located, is we like to talk about Indigenous connections to the night sky. The uh, Indigenous people lived in this area for thousands of years and they had very uh, interesting complex connections with the night sky, both practically uh, for wayfinding, for time telling, also for being able to uh, use the sky as a calendar, as well as the spiritual connections to the night sky. And we want to show students that this was an actually an astronomically aligned movement of landforms that would connect the land with the sky and uh, the movement of uh, celestial objects. So for example, uh, a marker to tell you when the sun was going to rise on the solstice each year. Uh, markers to tell when certain stars would rise at the beginning of their journey in the southern sky. Students today like to have opportunities to learn how things have always been done. So for example, being able to tell the time by looking at where the sun is in the sky. It's so easy to pick up your phone and you get instant accurate time, but it's more fun to be able to understand what does noon mean uh, near the summer uh, solstice? What does noon actually look like closer to the winter solstice? And it gives students the idea that we're on the spinning ball moving through space constantly. We are using the uh, observatory lands for um, scientific research now, but it's always been connected with the sky.